Hi, my name is Bill. This dog right here, that's Benji. And welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to start filming from the uh, Dry Run Comfort Station. And it's located here on the Dry Run, I guess, Creek. Uh, there's a trail, the Dry Run Trail, that takes you up to Huntley Road. It's about a mile up the hill. And this is the what they consider a comfort station. It's basically just a men's and women's bathroom. Um, I parked down at Waterville. Um, if you head south towards Waterville, 2.3 miles to the access area. Um, Kamal is 5.4 miles. Ross Run that I've done a video on is 8 miles and so on and so forth. This is a, another one of the nice sections of the trail. Runs along Pine Creek pretty much the whole way down along to this point until you get to, I believe it's Jersey Shore or Jersey something. I'm not that familiar with up here yet still. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty much runs along the creek right here. And uh, Route 414 is right on the other side. Leads you up to 44. Uh, currently, we're heading south towards Waterville, and uh, pretty much on this side, this is the this is the only house or cabin that you run into. Um, those have power or electric, cause and I've seen wires that come across, but uh, it's pretty remote. Wouldn't mind living here myself, <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, nice little house slash cabin. Um, I've never seen anybody here. I've done this actually several times. So, we must not come here very often. Here we are at mile marker 48. We're about two tenths of a mile from Dry Run Comfort Station where the bathrooms were. This is also where this little I guess side stream slash island is. Comes back around and back out to Pine Creek. I believe there's a family of beavers around here somewhere. You look over here, you can see where they've gnawed off some trees. Right there. Down there, I don't know if it's coming out on camera very well, but definitely believe there's a family of beavers in this area. As we get down a little further, there's a whole bunch chewed off. I actually made a really nice view across the creek. There's a bunch of cabins on the other side, right along 414 over there. Summer houses, summer cabins. Not sure which is which and what's what. Sometimes you never can tell what I think is a, a big beautiful house ten times nicer than mine. Turns out to be some rich person's cabin. So, you just never know. But there's been a few times I've been down here and I realized they could all be running heat pumps. You don't see any steam or any smoke coming out of any of the chimneys or anything like that. So... We must have the heat turned down. I think a lot of them are cabins. But we're almost the area where the beavers made the clearing. So you can literally look like the whole way across. Here's a couple gnawed off. Stumps there. Again, there's no real creek access at Waterville for any water sports. But to my knowledge, if you walk down this a little ways, you can get to the water without getting in trouble. I mean, don't hold me that because I 
not positive, but you know, I don't see why you couldn't make a little trail down to the water from here. But uh, this is where the beavers have made their made the clearing. Not off a bunch of trees. Man, nice little view. So you can see across the stream. I don't really know a whole lot about Pine Creek, but when we first moved here a couple months ago, it was really shallow in a lot of spots. I thought, wow, how do you possibly canoe on this and kayak and stuff? Because it just seems really shallow. And maybe it was just really low because it seems a lot higher now. Like you could actually do all that stuff. So it makes a little more sense now if there's actually water in it. Might have been in a drought earlier when we moved here. We're coming up on Gleason Run and the Gleason Run Trail. It's a little stream that runs down the mountain. Nice little waterfall. There's a sign for it. Pretty much runs down the whole side of the mountain in the trail. I have actually done this one time. We came down and climbed this. It's a little more, a little closer to a mile to the top with the switchbacks. Um, used uh, the Outdoor Active app. And it says a little closer to a mile, I think, give or take. But it took me forever to get up this because it's, it's over a thousand foot, almost 1,100 foot climb till you get to the top. Um, I didn't make it to Huntley Road though. Maybe there's a trail up there that runs you back down around and pretty much back to the Waterville access area. Made a nice little loop out of it. We're not doing that today though because it seriously took me an hour to make it that 0.7 to a mile, 0.7 miles to a mile, however long it ended up truly being. It's one of the hardest hills I've ever climbed. I'm coming up here not too much further. And now I want uh, another one of the placards that's up talking about the timber rattlesnake. They, uh, I guess they're all over the place. I've yet to see one. And we got here late in fall, so they were probably all back to their dens by the time we moved here. But there's a lot of these plaques in different places I've gone talking about the timber rattlesnake. So something I'm going to have to be careful of. And if you're ever in the area, you know, you want to watch out for. You read the plaques, so it gives you some useful tips to help avoid them. And uh, from what everything I've read and seen on YouTube and such, they're not really an aggressive animal. They just want to be left alone. Kind of like me. But here's the placard. All about them. Come on, Benji. Come on. Another little waterfall comes off. There's a few little little slides along this too. It's been kind of wet as of lately, so that is to be expected. We're coming up on mile marker 49. Another little stream that kind of crosses underneath the trail.
not a whole lot of water coming down it but comes over here kicks out there Here's another area where the creek comes around, a bit of an island. Comes in from out there. Got this right here. I think there's a birdhouse down there. And then right there. I guess maybe an old logging road or an access road of some sort. When this was either logged or mined, it runs up along, right along the trail. Here we come up on mile marker number 50. And pretty much the Waterville parking area. It's not too far off from here. There's a mile marker. There's Benji Poppers. There's a sign up here. It says, welcome to the village of Waterville. Just the other end of it. This is the side with the, uh, the parking area though. It's a relatively large parking area which is kind of nice. So, here's a sign for Waterville. It's across the creek, some of the houses down here. And there's that access road that comes down. And actually, back up a little bit see if I can zoom in and get it on there it's not really showing up but right right by that rock right there I know it's not gonna show up very well is where the trail actually comes down when it loops back down around and you pick up this and go back to the parking area when you do the loop from uh, I can't remember what the name of the hill is now, but uh, yeah, that's where it loops back around to. Right here is the Tyodactin Trail. Runs along here. I think down into Waterville a little ways before it uh, cuts up towards uh, Little Little Pine State Park or Pine Creek State Park. And. I misspoke earlier at Jersey Mills that we were uh, pretty close to when we were at the uh, Dry Run Comfort Station. And then here we come to the parking area. There's some signage up here and everything else, but it's a pretty decent sized parking area. I'll about do it for the video today. Um, I'm going to get heading home and eat some dinner. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.